He once had a happy family, but an accident destroyed his village, as well as his family. Hearing this, the two girls are very sad for Rain and worried about asking more. But Rain doesn't want to leave too many secrets and estrangement among companions. So he continues his story. One day when he was 12, Rain went to a place far away from the village to practice taming beasts. But when he came home at night, he found that the village was on fire. Some monsters attacked the village, and everyone was dead. Rain was the only survivor. Though he was only 12, he had to live a difficult independent life. Afterward, he met his former companions. The leader Arios invited him to join the adventure team. Rain wanted to prevent the tragedy of his village from happening again, so he agreed to join but only to discover Arios considered him a servant to do odd jobs for the team. At this moment, Canard holds Rain's hand. She finally figures out that the reason why Rain fought so desperately every time he encountered monsters is that the kind boy doesn't want the tragedy to happen again. Tanya also joins to encourage Rain. The two girls praise Rain and then start to curse Arios that his adventure team must have declined. Their encouraging words warm Rain's heart. For the first time he feels the efforts he may get approved. After the conversation, they become close to each other which allows them to cooperate well in the next mission of crusading against the <laughs>